So I'm here with Daryl Golden, uh, the new featherweight champion of uh, Ice FC. He just took an absolutely brilliant win over uh, Alex Crossland, I believe. Luke, Luke, Luke Crossland, sorry, my fault. Um, bell to bell, <laughs> absolutely cracking fight. Um, I can't, I can't remember the last time I went to see something live, and I've seen a lot of fights live yeah. where it was just total, total full piece, one hundred percent. But not just even just like, oh yeah, we're just knocking ten, ten bells of shit out of each other. It was, you know, on the ground, a little bit of wrestling, a bit of stand up and stuff. How do you yeah. feel afterwards? A bit tired. He was a tough kid. I thought he was, I thought he was going to go a few times, and he just kept coming back. And yes. then when he picked me off in that last round, I thought, fuck you know. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you took the win uh, by, you know, by uh, TKO in the, yeah. third, in the third round, in the, in the last round, I believe. In the third, in the third round, five, five round, right. So, in the fight, the early caught you with a knee barge, you yeah. rolled for the DAS, you got out of the DAS, yeah. um, and then you stood up, and he rolled for his knee bar, from his standing, it, yeah. and he had this knee bar, and I see this look in your face, because uh, you were fighting it really, really yeah. well, and this look on your face at one point where he hits in, and he yeah, just like... Part. Got in your corner. Yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> it was six weeks ago I did my knee. Oh, right, so I had bad knees all the way through camp. And then when he got it, I thought, fuck, he's going to snap it. But I managed to get it on me in a while. What was he managed to get right there? What was Tom shouting in the corner? Because he was right next to you. Struggle, you? get that leg out. Get, just kick your ass, get that leg out, get that leg out. And then in the second round, it was almost like. Um, in the second round, it was a really good fight, it was really it was yeah. a bit competitive, um, but in the second round, it, that was when I found that I saw, in my opinion, that he started to break a little bit. Yeah. Um, he was hitting him with his right hand over and over again, stood there, at one point he landed about eight shots, left, right, left, right, box, yeah. and he just wouldn't drop. What went through your mind when he just didn't? Just keep going to the drops, <laughs> just keep going. Did he not put you off? No, not really. Did I, just not? <laughs> I just thought, keep going, he's going to go soon, he's going to go soon, but he didn't. So I, so, so I did in the second, you've thrown everything that's at the kitchen sink on him. Yeah. He's, he's, he's not, he, you know, he didn't drop and he, you know, you didn't, you know, there was no, there was no kind of sign of him really wanting to will. He was yeah. eating a lot of shots, but when you went into that third, what did you think? Like, do the same again. <laughs> Just do it again every round, I'd have done it for five. And then when he picked you up in the yeah, third round, I like, thought, whoa, <laughs> where does that come from? <laughs> Then you hit the ground and he was attacking again for that. You like the dash joke, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that dash joke. Yeah, I like that dash joke. Any, <laughs> any, any time you thought he was going to finish it? No, maybe once when I first got it, at first, until they were too sweaty, they just started slipping around. So I thought, uh, get it, like, what's well, like, Oh, no way. It was, yeah. it, there was a couple of times where it wasn't really deep. Uh, yeah, it was. He was, like, he was like trying to cross it to, to tighten up a little yeah, bit yeah. And, he was, and he was getting out. Did yeah, you well. think he was going to get out of the third round? Yeah. Did you? I, I, Tom, Tom said that, I said there's more fuck than you know what I mean? He couldn't take much more like that, but he did take it. And then he, he was broke in that range. We, knew, we just put it on him 100% again, he'll, he'll crack. He was definitely, definitely tough because even his, his coach just congratulated you there in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, that was a cracking fight. And I've got to say, like I said, it's been a while since I've seen a fight like yeah. that. And it was technical the way that you were attacked for the darts, he was attacking for the knee bar. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then on the ground, there was a lot of scrambling involved, a lot of wrestling yeah. involved. So it was an absolutely brilliant fight. Yeah. But tell me more about your preparation on the way up to it. Like, how, you know, how did well, you train specifically for it? Trained, I was training over there. I don't know about the gym. It's Fucking, it, it's intense training. Every single one of us train. Uh, so you just gotta, so you just gotta do it, haven't you? So when are we gonna see you next? Just next show. Hopefully. Next show. <laughs> oh, nice. Defending it, yeah. Absolutely. Next really. show. Nice. Anybody you like to fight? Yeah, like to fight. Got my fans. Everyone about that gym. I couldn't run unless we wrote them. And just let everyone in uh, how you see you. Thanks for this. And that's it. Daryl Golden, new featherweight champion, ISFC.